Hey Shaki, welcome, welcome back to my channel and I'm back today with a Shein haul. I actually have not done a haul in quite some time now, but I'm sure with the warmer season coming up, I'll be coming back to you guys with more haul content. So without further ado, let's get on to today's video. So I do have quite a few things in this box. I did get some items that are not clothing related. So I'm just going to be going section by section. So the first item is actually a repurchase. I got this a while ago in my work outfit haul, but I did have to rebuy this in a different size because I found that maybe it with some weight gain recently it didn't quite fit me at the arms it was a little tight so I decided to buy the exact same collared shirt but in a size up I got this in a size medium instead this one does still fit a little slightly tight at the arms I'm not quite sure if it's just the style but the medium does still fit a little tight on the upper arm area it is super long so I don't think I'll be keeping this to be honest it doesn't quite fit on the shoulders it's a little wide for me I thought going up a size it might fit me better at the arms unfortunately it does not so I think I might be returning this which is kind of weird to say because I usually don't return Shein things but this does not fit like I wanted it to so I might as well just keep the one that I already have okay next thing here is actually another work related item I do really love the brown daisy pants that I got a while ago I'll link that video up here as well as in the description box down below I did decide to get the same exact pair of pants in a different color I don't know if it's just my Skin tone but I don't think this color looks quite as good on me as it does on the model I got this in a size medium and it is the same pair I love the fabric and it's like wide leg at the bottom I really love it I love wearing my Air Force ones with these because it just kind of covers the shoe a little bit you know what I mean with a wide leg pant trend I really like that the color is a little iffy I don't really know how to wear this maybe with like a white top I don't think this color is fit for me but I do really love their brown pair a lot I might just get these in a black instead I really love these daisy pants a lot they're super high quality so I highly recommend okay next few things are jeans you know it's not a Shein haul of mine without jeans so I actually got this pair this is really different I said about every single pair of jeans that I buy but this pair is actually different these are kind of like wide leg pants but they're kind of cargo-ish like they have these little panels and stuff so it's a little different than what I usually would buy or go towards there's like this little nice detailing on the side here I got these in a size small and the dental quality is actually pretty good I would say it's almost on par with H&M's quality I have a few pairs from them that I have washed numerous times already and they're still in great condition so I highly recommend and these are actually like thick jeans they're not like thin or jagging material whatsoever so the next pair of jeans that I have is actually this basic denim light wash pair all my jeans from Shein well, actually most of my jeans are in the same shade so I don't know what I was thinking when I was ordering this but I do remember thinking that the fit of it is a little different it's not the mom jean pair that I usually wear this is kind of like straight fits if I remember correctly so it'd be nice to try a different style but honestly I think I'm gonna get this pair in a different color because this color is kind of like really staple in my closet and I have like 10,000 other pairs that look just like this so it's a little hard to differentiate between the styles okay now the next thing is the only summer thing that I have it is this really cute lilac bikini set what drew me in were these cups they're like really nice and Really, I love this color a lot. I feel like I constantly buy bikinis in this color because it's just so flattering. It has like this like paisley ditzy print all over it with frills at the cuff. And I love these type of closures because I feel like they're kind of really secure when you have it on. It doesn't really like unhook itself. I haven't had a problem with it unhooking itself when I'm like in the water. And I hate the tying because you can almost never tie without somebody's help. So I would prefer the closures like this. And I love bottoms like these because it's super high waisted so it gives the illusion that you have like super long legs but you really don't. And the coverage is not bad at all. It's kind of like your basic bikini coverage. So I really really love this pair for like the summertime but the one thing I would have to say is the top is kind of too small on me I got these in a size small the bottoms to me perfectly like chef's kiss but the bra cup at the top is a little tiny like I am part of the itty bitty community but this is even tinier like it gives me almost no coverage and I'm like on the verge of having a nip slip moment so I would recommend you getting a size up if you are kind of like more prominent in the chest area so just keep that in mind okay so I kind of lied I did get another summer-ish thing I got this really nice sage doesn't look sage in camera it looks sage in my eyes but 
it's like the sage t-shirt ribbed dress with ruching on the side i have fallen in love with ruching because i feel like it's really flattering on especially when you're trying to eat a little bit you don't want to show that baby bump so this type of style would be perfect for that and i already know in the summertime we're going to do a lot of barbecues so this would be like a perfect dress for that i do have to say that although it's like really breathable it is slightly sheer so i would recommend wearing like a nude underwear with this or something like that i do really like the ruching though because you can kind of customize how long or short you want the dress with the ruching fully undone it's kind of like a midi length but you could shorten it to how short you want or however long you want which i love because you kind of have like a three outfit in one kind of thing okay so now on to some non-clothing items I did end up trying it on the bag from them but i'm slightly disappointed on the website it looks like this really beautiful chocolate brown tote bag in person it looks really cheap like look at the strap the straps are a little crumbled in the shipping process but i have already let it out for a few days now to kind of air out the smell but it still has not unshriveled itself and also the material is just like super super cheap like i don't know if you guys can tell but it's really thin i don't think it looks like what it does online but i do want to look into tote bags like this it's super cute super basic squarish tote bag i think it will look really sophisticated on because i'm getting kind of tired of like crossbody so i do want something more mature but i just don't think the bag is for me and also there is some inconsistency in like the stitching of the straps i don't know if you guys tell but if i were to follow the like lining of this right and i go all the way around the buckle for this side is on the outside right but if i were to take this right strap over here and i were to do the same thing let me just follow the strap the buckle is on the inside like so i think that's kind of unflattering it makes it look super super cheap the only plus thing about it is that you get a really nice quality magnetic closure at the top and you get an inner pocket jean does have better quality bags so i would say skip out on this one and i also did pick up another pair of their sweatpants i really love the quality of these i got this in like this really nice dark charcoal gray color oh i absolutely love i got this in a size small i really love how thick they are and they're fleece lined i don't know if you guys can tell exactly how thick it is this is slightly thicker than my H&M ones and the H&M ones were slightly more expensive so that says a lot about Shein. I have a love-hate relationship with how big these pockets are because the pockets are kind of like in the middle where the crotch area is so if you were to put something in them you're gonna have like a bulky crotch area which is kind of unflattering so it's a love-hate relationship because you could fit a lot of things in them but you would just look goofy you know what I mean maybe it's a plus maybe it's a negative point for you but I do love how the bottoms have cuffs on it this itself is really important to me because I hate the joggers with like a super thick band those are so unflattering it makes my legs look so much shorter hey guys editing jackie here so i totally forgot about these two beautiful dresses the first one is this brown mini dress it is in this satiny silky kind of fabric super nice and breathable i love how the bust is in a sweetheart neckline with a twisty wrap kind of detail 9 out of 10 i wish it was a midi dress instead this next one is also a mini dress. It is in this black satin fabric. It looks a little basic in the front, but it has like these cutouts on the sides and back. I hadn't noticed this when I was shopping, but it actually is a wrap dress. So it has like two layers in the front. Not really my vibe, 7 out of 10. Another non-clothing item that I got is this phone case. It's super, super cute and like holographic. It has like these hearts all over it and a little pocket for like cards or something like that. The only thing about this case is that it's actually not printed on here like the holographic part is actually like a piece of plastic so i don't like how that is i might just use the case without the holographic thing on it i do really like the pocket i could fit like a bunch of things in here like picture of coco maybe i'll put a picture of coco here when she was tinier you have like these little bumpers all over it so if your phone were to fall in the corners it won't really like damage your phone up away from your camera so even if your phone were to fall flat on its camera i don't think it will break because there is like a little bumper for the camera as well so i think it's really nice quality for like the price it is okay so the next thing is also for my phone i got a screen protector and look at how bougie the packaging is like what the heck so i did end up getting a privacy screen it's basically a screen protector that limits the vision field so nobody else would really be able to look at your phone unless they're like directly in front of it so anybody from like your sides or behind would not be able to look at your screen which i think is necessary and then i'm sorry for the packaging um but i did end up getting velcro stickers 
it has like a sticky side with velcro on top so you can kind of like stick it to two surfaces and then just like sandwich them and it'll be like velcro together this would be a good idea to kind of velcro my literary mat to the floor because coco recently has been trying to dig at something underneath the mats so it causes all the leftover litter to go everywhere so that's why i decided to get that for her okay so the next item is very important for my diy nail queens i love their drill bit as you all know i do my nails at home and it's really annoying to file everything down with like a regular nail filer so i love using drill bits these ones from shein is super cheap and it works just the same it has multiple speed levels i highly recommend this the only reason why i repurchased it is because i gave mine to my cousin so i am currently out of one i cut down my nail prep to like half the time that i would spend if i were to use a buffer so i highly 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 recommend okay so the next one i have is kind of random it's kind of like a two item in one if you have pets coco loves this little scratchy thingy but it's not made for pets this is supposed to be for getting hair out of your comb but coco really likes it when i like scratch your head with this so it's kind of doubles as like a two-in-one item so that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i know it's kind of short but i'll be coming back to you guys with more fashion related content so ring the bell for notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one